哇！ shit！ 哇！ drone shot works。Nerf the drone. In this video, we're gonna be turning drone footages into high quality 3D environments using nerfs. All in under 20 minutes with Luma AI. A little backstory. A few days ago, we saw Justin post this beautiful drone footage shot over the mountains of Norway. We DM'd him straight up, asking him if he'd be down to send us the footages so we can process them into nerfs and eventually take them to Unreal Engine 5. But before we do that, we had to answer three, three, three. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Yo, yo, what the fuck was that? We have to answer three questions. But before we do that, we had to answer three questions. One, how to capture the best drone footages for Nerf. Two, can we cheat and use AI upscaling to enhance the quality of our footage so that the Nerf is of a higher resolution? Three, can we color grade the footages so that the Nerfs have richer colors? Let's get into it. Can we do something cooler that we do from now on? Let's get into it. <laughs> let's get <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> we are right now in Luma AI's website. Okay, let's find out. We have the drone footages. Justin, shout out to you for sending them to us. I can see the covers of the nerves and they look good. Three, two, two one. Wow! Oh, shit! Wow! Look at Ooh. that. Dude, Dude, do you see the reflection the, on the snow? Wow. It, it, it actually cut the whole thing. Drone shot works. Oh. Nerf the drone work. Look at okay, the Okay, I think this is hands on the best nerf ever created. One, two, three. Wow. You take this drone shot one time, then you bring it to Unreal Engine. Now you have infinite angles you can shoot. Wow. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can put the camera here. I can move it here. I can literally create any angle that I want, which is what... It's crazy about nerfs. Like, imagine you're Justin, okay? You go there, you take one shot, and then you come back, you're like, I didn't like that angle. Like, fuck, can I change it? Yes, yes you, you can. can. Yes, yes, you, you can. can. Dude. What does this scene remind you? Lord of, of the, the Rings. Okay, you know what? This is the video. This is the oh, angle. Oh, it's even vertical. Fuck. Yeah. And what's beautiful here is he did a super slow shot. This is exactly what Luma AI was talking to us about when we contacted the team. They told us you want to go one step per second. If the drone had feet, this would be the one step per second speed you're looking at. He's he's so gentle. Wow, what a fucking wow. dude! Why are I'm we so sitting so behind the computer? Jealous. Why he, do, why he, he just to go there? Yeah, and we switch. get to okay. Let's do a switch. Switch. The beauty of Nerf. You take the video vertical. Now you can take a horizontal video. Shit, Have you thought about that? Crazy. That's Dude, you can literally take a horizontal video and just like do a close in shot like that. Do, 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 do. Do you want to see the mesh? Let's see. Do you know what you can do with this? Do you know we can add physics to this? You ready for the next one? Let's go. Wow. wow. No, I like this one fog? more. I like this one more. You know why? The no, contrast. Wait, 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 wait. We have some artifacts. We oh, have some shit. artifacts. Okay. All right. You can do like a shot like this. So we have some artifacts here. I think I know why. Let me explain. First of all, there's fog. It is dense enough to be considered as a mesh. The camera took two orbits and I fed it both. Oh so shit, let's cut it. Luma AI told us you want to do one orbit. That's usually the best output because now when it goes again, it's trying It'll to merge, merge them together. Ready? Let's go. Boom. Wow, this is good. Wow, there's like a tiny artifact at the top here, but let's take a look at- We can remove that, right? Oh, This clearly works. It's got on the ground, but it hasn't got in the sky. This is the original footage. I think the reason why it hasn't got in the sky is because we didn't there see the no sky. There is no sky, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's looking, the camera is looking down actually. It's gotten this perfectly. Yeah. And done. because the orbit is changing the angle, you see it's capturing more. Wow. This is such a beautiful scenery. What a beautiful view. 105 is slightly different. Let's take a look. Whoa. This is good. This is much better. This is wow. This is look so at this. much more look clear. Do you see the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see the difference? Look at this. This is not clear. The segmentation between the water and the mountains is definitely not clear. Look at this one. Look at that. This it's perfect. 
is great. This is actually. freaking amazing. So you know what this shows? If only Justin had captured the sky in this shot, this would be the perfect shot. Just look, dude, look at this fucking shit. It's I so think we good. take this and the first one to one really. Yeah, well, let's look at 105 compared to the last one. Okay, we have the angle. We have Definitely the same angle. height, same height. And it's looking straight. It, it's, it's not looking down or it's not looking up. I don't think it's about looking down or looking up. I think it's about the fact that it's not changing yeah, yeah, yeah. the angle as it's flying, as it's, it's orbiting. Perfect orbit. Look yes. At that. Do you know these footages are not even 4K? Oh, it's 1080? It's 1080p. If they're 4K, I can only imagine what the quality of this human will be. Farad, I went ahead and I did something extra. The Luma AI team told us that Luma AI's nerfs will respect your color grading. We took the time to color grade one of them. Da Vinci Resolve also has an effect called halation. Halation adds glow and dreamy look to everything. The problem with that is when you add glow and dreamy effects, it makes the scene a little bit more blurry, the edges. So is that gonna cause an issue? We're gonna find out. Let's find out. One last thing, Da Vinci Resolve's new update has AI scaling. We used the 2X enhanced version and upscaled the footage. Essentially with a 1080p footage, now we should have something that is 2K. First of all, we're gonna look at AI upscaled and graded. On the right side, you're looking at an AI upscaled, color graded version of the same footage and Luma AI has done a marvelous job at recreating the world. Do you see the color difference? Wow, yeah, 100%. In sharpness, you can see the difference in sharpness. Dude. Then this is the file we are taking to Unreal Engine. Dude, we are, I think, the first people who are trying this, by the <laughs> way. I'm not even joking, because the DaVinci Resolve update is new, and we don't have a cooler shot than this. Justin, shout out. Yeah. I have another one, which is AI upscale with halation, so the dreamy look. I want to see if we can achieve that dreamy. <gasps> Dude. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, you got the halation Dude, do you too. see the halation? Do you see the difference? It's gotten all of the color grade in the freaking thing. Wow, just wow, just wow. So it works, it's it crazy. works. The conclusion out of everything is you try to capture as much environment as possible and go at this speed. Look at how slow this is. Yeah, actually, this yeah. is very slow. So it has enough time to process everything and it's one orbit only and it's capturing enough ground and enough of the sky, enough of the foreground, enough of the midground and enough of the background to give you enough space to record in virtually within Unreal Engine 5. It's it's such a patient shot and there's a tiny amount of lens flare, not a lot. There's almost no fog. I mean, there's fog at the very back, but there's not like visible fog covering the mountains. It's quite clear. Honestly, this is the perfect drone shot. Questions have been answered, people, but it doesn't end here. We want to take the best nerf of today into Unreal Engine 5 to do Justin's nerfs justice. We're thinking of a super cool cinematic 